Welcome to another episode of TV Tuesday. My name is France Morissette at beyondthepeel.net and I'm excited to have you here today because I'm going to show you how to do something super easy that everyone should know how to do and uh, I'll walk you through the process of changing it according to what you might have on hand and what is seasonal, which is also great. So this is a super, super easy vegetable stock recipe that anyone can make. It's the very basic recipe and I'll do some additions to that as we go along. But I just want to uh, show you the basics first. So we're just gonna start with a couple stalks of celery here. I've got four stalks of celery. I'm just gonna give them a rough chop. It doesn't have to be super specific. I'm gonna have my water boiling back here. I didn't want you to have to wait for me to bring my water to a boil, so there we go. So I'm gonna just throw things in as I go along. So I've got my celery. I'm gonna put in some fresh parsley. A little bit of thyme. We've got four carrots. What's great about this is you don't have to worry too much about the chopping, you know, it's just a rough chop to get things into pieces and into the pot. And I'm using um, Dennis Cotter's uh, version of this recipe and the reason I like it, uh, eight garlic cloves, is because it's super simple. A lot of recipes will have you uh, boiling the vegetables for half an hour and a half. His recipe is half an hour of simmer time, half an hour of sitting time, which is awesome. It allows the flavors to get into the water quickly without making anything bitter, which sometimes can happen with the vegetables. So I'm leaving the skins on my onions. It'll impart kind of a nice dark brown, like a brown color and a nice flavor. But if for some reason you're making stock for risotto and you don't want that color, you can always just take the skins off. But since I'm kind of a no fuss kind of girl, that works perfect for me. And then finally, I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper. So a teaspoon and a half-ish salt. And a teaspoon and a half-ish of peppercorns. That's it, and then I have uh, four liters of water in this pot. I'm gonna move everything back to the stove. I'm gonna put it on to simmer, bring it back to a boil and then simmer it and then set the timer for half an hour. Pull it off the burner after half an hour and just let it sit. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna strain off the vegetables. But that's basically a very simple version of the uh, stock. And then I'm gonna come back and tell you a little bit about some variations. make all kinds of different additions based on what you have in your fridge as well as what season you're in. So for example, if it's spring, you may want to incorporate dill uh, or fennel instead of thyme. Adds kind of a bright, lively flavor. In the summer, you could add a bunch of basil or tarragon. Um, so lots of different options there. Use what's in season. Um, steer clear of rosemary, it can be pretty overpowering. Um, cabbage as well, so keep that in mind. But you could use the ends of your broccoli or ends of a celery stalk. Um, so keep all that stuff on hand when you're prepping and you can use all the ends to make a delicious uh, vegetable stock that costs you practically pennies uh, per cup. So uh, that's also a great option. So there you have it, a super easy, simple vegetable stock recipe that anyone can make. Takes an hour to do with whatever ingredients you have on hand. You can also make it seasonal based on some of the tips I mentioned. And uh, if you have a recipe that you'd like to incorporate a uh, vegetable stock to, maybe leave it in the comment section below. And if you have a recipe, if you have a blog, you can also uh, leave a link for us so we can go check that out. 
And uh, if you're not already a member of our community, sign up at beyondthepeel.net for our email newsletter. Or share this with your friends on Facebook, anyone you know that might need a vegetable stock recipe made easy. And uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the button here. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another great episode.